and our value is not based on what we do either, is it? Because we, we can think even what we do for Christ can be our value. Uh, we, we, we may do great things for God, but that's not what God values again, is it? No, that's right. Uh, what we do is obviously very important, but it, it starts with who we are. In fact, it doesn't just start with who we are. It starts with, starts with whose we are. Okay. And the fact that we are God's treasured possession I think that is the beginning, the foundation block of identity, because identity, it comes from your father. If you think even in science, we've got the X and the Y chromosome, and only the father can determine the the gender of the child. And I think that's an amazing kind of picture, even in the physical, that actually we need a father to tell us who we are. We need a father to define our identity. Mm, Interesting stuff. Uh, Have you ever struggled with identity as to, to who you are? Yes, I have. I think um, I went through a period of about five years after um, I'd been quite badly betrayed. And I guess I would describe it as a time of struggling with rejection, which is um, when you've been rejected by somebody else, you start to believe things about yourself and, and you can believe things about yourself that are not true. And of course, that affects um you know, I can be having a conversation with somebody and if I believe that they're not really interested in what I've got to say or perhaps I haven't got anything really good to say, then that's going on in my mind all the time and I'm struggling with who I am and am I important, am I valuable, am I worth listening to? And uh, God really kind of worked in my life and and started to bring his truth and I think this is the the really important thing um, about identity is that if we want to have our identity restored, We need to replace those lies that we believe with God's truth. And we need to be asking God to show us what is the truth? What is it that you say about me? How do you see me? And actually, if we've got beliefs about ourselves, like I'm ugly or I'm never going to be good at anything, that kind of thing, we need to be willing to put those aside and say, actually, I'm not going to believe that anymore. I'm going to choose to believe God what you say about me. And of course, the Mm. truth, Mm. Jesus said, when you believe it and you apply it, sets you free. So it's not it's not what we look like, it's not what we do, it's not our successes or failures, it's what God thinks of us that, that gives us our, our identity. That's right, and some of the things that God says, I mean one of them is that he says that we're chosen, and he's chosen us. I don't know if you have ever thought about that, sometimes we think that we chose to follow Jesus and we chose to be one of his children, but actually the Bible says... Um, you did not choose me, hmm. I chose you yeah. and appointed Jesus you. Jesus said this to his disciples, That's didn't he? That's right. Yeah. In yeah. John 15, yeah. he says, you know, I've chosen you. And another yeah. one is that we're accepted. Hmm. You know, and all these things, and it's not based on what we've done. Actually, it's based on what Jesus has done. Actually, it's in spite of who we are. Hmm. Why not start your day with Inspirational Breakfast, Monday to Fridays from 7 a.m., Only on Premier Christian Radio, where faith comes to life.